The only people who are saying they want to meet me for 50 much are PF because PF are not realistic people. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am J Cool. I post interesting videos such as daily news, entertainment, filming, so you need to subscribe. What is your final answer in this regard? Zambians are waiting for you and the Udon government to meet your promise, to address that promise of reducing the cost of millimil to 50 quarter as per your campaign promise. What is your simplistic answer to a voter out there? First of all, first of all, uh, innocent. Let me, let, me, let me put it there, because you are my friend. I will tell you, the only people who are saying they want millimil for 50 quarter are PF, because PF are not realistic people. Zambians who are realistic know that there is no way the overnight you can start selling millimil for 50 quarter because you first have to produce more. And to produce more is, does not take one cycle of producing maize. You need to invest in the sector, the agricultural sector. There are many things to be done. That is why you have seen in this year's uh, national budget, uh, Innocent, the government has set aside funding uh, to employ agricultural extension officers. And the president, when he was addressing the nation, did reiterate this particular issue of improving yield and productivity a hectare. That those are some of the issues in this particular national budget for 2024. Uh, innocent. You have seen what the government has done. It has set aside the funding to be able to um, do roads and bridges in farming blocks as a way of revamping farming blocks to be able to be more productive once more. All these things that are, when you put them together and all the measures, uh, you know, bear fruit to the fullest, then you can now ask me about how much a bag of milk is mm -hmm. going to ask. The fact that, uh, you know, innocent, you, you form government, does not in itself entail that all the things you promised, you do them there and then. There are those that can be done that do not require time. You do them, such as restoration of the rule of law, ensuring that there is no cadarism at bus stops and, and uh, markets to ensure. Those are just by word of mouth from the commander in chief of uh, the armed forces mm -hmm. to, to say, this I don't want, this I don't want, this. Unlike the way it was in the past, where ZCID every day had to go a round table meeting. No, let's discuss about peace. let's discuss about ending violence. So those things that require just a stroke of a pen or Honorable just minister wait for the sake of time. Honorable minister, they have been done. Honorable minister, I would want us to manage our time very well. I think we've taken much of our time on this topic. Uh, I think it's either you are being too technical in your response to this uh, simple question. Or basically, you are being you are deliberately avoiding to answer my question. Is, my question is, and maybe you may have to justify why you, you 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 think that the people are demanding for you to implement, you know, this promise of bringing the, uh, the cost of a millimute fifty quarters you promised are the PF members, which I don't think so because if uh, indeed they are PF members, I don't know if the PF even voted for you. If PF, they might have voted for themselves as PF members. So how would you know that these are PF members? Away from that, Minister, maybe please answer this question in a very simplistic manner. Will there be a time, maybe in the next five years, the mandate that you have, or maybe in the next ten years, will there be a time when Zambians who have access to cheaper millimil of a 50 bag, kg bag of millimil to 50 kwacha? As simple as that. That's my question. Innocent, innocent, Zambia, the Zambian economy is market forces driven. It's not driven by government. Hmm. Government does not determine prices. Government creates an environment within which those who are doing business should be able uh, to do business, but it puts in place policies that would favor its people. So among well, the promises the minister government that you are now. putting in place, among the, all the promise, the, the fundamentals or the policies that are being put in place right now, there is not any policy, there is not any fundamental formula that will trigger the 
cost of a millimeter to come to 50 kwacha in the next five years to come. Not so. Innocent. I thought I was explaining to you the measures that government has put in place, starting you, with the production. You have, of Minister, but you've not answered my question. Quality. You have explained, of course, Minister, but you have not answered my question. Would there be a time, do you envisage as a UPND government to bring the cost of millimeter to 50 kwacha as you promised? As simple as that, Minister. Innocent, let me make you happy. I do not see myself as I speak now that in next year the 50 kwacha. I don't see that. But I see that with more investment in that sector, and more people getting involved to produce more, there will be a general decline in the pricing of Miri Miu. That is the answer. Right. Thank you so much, Minister. We can now move on to another uh, subject. Uh, what about the fuel as well? We've seen that fuel, you know, is, keeps on increasing. Of course, you brought in the issue of uh, the external shocks that we've encountered as a country. But um, beyond that, what is plan B to ensure that the cost of um, fuel is brought down. I know, for example, I'll maybe cite you as a minister. I know that to you ministers, you uh, you know, you, you get free fuel. You know, you are you 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 your, your livelihood is being subsidized by the people of Zambia through the taxpayers that Zambians are subscribing. But what about an ordinary Zambian out there? Do you intend to possibly subsidize fuel in the long run? First of all, let me correct that, uh, that anomaly. I am not subsidized by, my fuel is not subsidized by the people of Zambia. The fuel that I use, I'm paid because I offer a service. Just like the way you are working there, when you are paid, no one can say you use free fuel. I don't, I don't draw any free fuel from any pump myself. I buy like anybody from the salary that I'm paid for working for it. Secondly, mm. the issue of subsidizing fuel is one which I cannot guarantee right now because of the debt trap situation we find ourselves in as a country. Right now, we are uh, you know, reached advanced stages of negotiating uh, you know, the debt restructuring. And Innocent, just a simple, you know, some of these things we must simplify. If I owe you 5,000 kwach and I am failing to pay you that 5,000, then I begin to negotiate how you should give me more time, I should be paying you in installments, maybe up to somewhere in June this year, every, every month maybe one pin, when in fact I was supposed to have paid you that lump sum. Uh, just in this January, I uh, know you know innocent. You know schools have just opened. You know I have to buy uniforms. I have to buy this and this. Then I'm negotiating. You're about to agree. Then you hear that uh, me now. Um, you 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 find me at uh, at Manda. He buy suits and shoes. Are you going to tolerate me with my negotiations that uh, you should stagger? I should stagger payments to you. No. So when you are you are in a debt uh, situation that we are in, uh, you know, and we're on this side we're negotiating with the IMF uh, stimulus package, one of the conditionalities for IMF stimulus, uh, you know, package uh, we are negotiating and we are beginning now to receive, uh, you know, funding is prudent its commitment to prudent utilization of those resources in needy economic and you know those important social areas and subsidy is not one of them because a subsidy uh, if you substitute the word subsidy you can actually say it's a luxury now i'm not saying it's a luxury to assist the vulnerable people but in terms of economics if you don't have money to pay debts but you have money to to give as a subsidy is like a handout. The no serious creditor is going to agree to negotiate with you. But no, you are in a, a debt situation which is unsustainable. Therefore, let us stagger these uh, uh, payments. So this is a situation 
unfortunately, you know, said we found ourselves trapped in, in uh, 2021. Uh, when you talk about the fuel sector itself, it is a sorry sight that uh, our colleagues, even when they join talking about the cost of uh, or pricing of fuel, they don't tell the nation the full story that they left a staggering 700 million United States dollars owing to oil marketing companies. They were just getting fuel on credit ahead of elections so that the fuel supply situation in the nation looks sober. 700 million United States dollars, which this government is struggling to pay at the moment. Now, if you still have such dead stock, where are you going to find money to begin to subsidize fuel?